All right, uh, you might have noticed a slight change of scenery. It's subtle, right? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bus, or I Shinobi. We have episodes 259, 260 of our One Piece watch through the day. The cozy train adventure continues, both with like on two sides of the spectrum. One, the rocket man trying to catch up to Puffing Tom. And this battle that's been set up is, is Frankie, Usopp, and Sanji against this cook, but Sanji told Frankie and Usopp to go ahead. This cook that I, I thought wouldn't be that big of a deal at first, but seems to be like an actual opponent since he was able to actually dodge Sanji's kick. Very weird dude. I don't know. We're gonna get into it. If you're new to the channel, drop us up and hit that big boy bell. And let's just get started. I mean, he seems strong, just not the brightest. Five cards remain. <laughs> this is the only line of defense. A oh, Mr. Nero. Robin's in one. Oh, so they're in between. Oh, man. They have to get through CB9 to get to Robin? That's rough. Robin showed at the very end. Oh, they know Frankie poses a threat. He's ready to kill anybody. Oh, man. <laughs> Even Corgi. And then one stranger. Oh, you haven't met the god himself. Mm -hmm. Safe to assume. I love how simple it, it actually is to break down realistically. God, his voice is so so cool. They know that Frankie poses the biggest threat. What, to get her? Yeah, I mean, they're stuck on a train either way. And I don't think... I think he's saying it's also impossible because she's not going to go with them because I, I, she's worried about them. This good guy, like, like... I don't know. Like, I can't figure him out. He's such... He's so wacky. He's not, like I said, it's more like smoke and mirrors, I think. That is so, just stop him now. Don't let him do that. Bo shooting noodle, noodles, like needle noodles with his nose. Nose needle noodles. Yeah, maybe he's not even going to let Frankie and Usopp go. I'm just, sorry, not Usopp. Soge King, go on ahead. I have to put respect on his name. Bro, what, were those flaming from how fast he was going? Is that fire? He can't stop all of you. He's keeping up the voice change. You have to respect it. I'm interested to see what this Nero character is like. Oh, he's part of CP9. Huh. Why is he in the car all alone? Dude, he's dodging like with ease too. And on roller skates. Ha! Look at his eyes! Bro, they stick out so unnaturally. I, I It's bothering. There's no way we're doing this again. The island of snipers in your heart. <laughs> Lulu, la la lu. Frankie's so over it. Squiddy King. Dude, I wonder what Usopp would think of Soge King. Ikaugo? That was a squid, not octopus. Oh. Soge King with another 5,000 IQ idea, like we know him for. Dude, it's so creepy. Why does he never stop smiling like that? I can't stand it. Noodle slicer. Oh no. Dude, that is actually sick though. I have to say I've underestimated him. He's keeping up with Sanji in terms of speed. His application is cool. I have to give him some respect. Oh. Oh, nice. There you go, Sanji. Finally. He better be. I think he's pretty fast. Onesie, it seems like you have a bit of an ego, bro. Swirling eyebrows made me dizzy. Are you just staring into his eyebrows? Yeah, for real. Your cheeks, bro. Oh, here we go. Sanji, stop letting him pull flower out. Oh. Yeah, because he can cook and he can fight, I guess. Stop. I hate that. I hate this entire concept so much about his nose hairs being like threaded. It's so disgusting. Dream combat. What is this man? Raw men's formal suit. Sanji, please, man. I know you can take him down. It's drawing this out. You can beat him, bro. Come on. Make you eat all those noodles. Not waste a single one of those noodles. It's a crime. 
Oh, oh, is that Nero? Is this on the roof now? Oh, no, this is like Nero's assistant. Hiss. Wait, this is him or isn't him? No, this is him. Was he speaking like in third person? That's true. I kind of expected him to skip over the, the car and just go to the front. Where did Sogi King go? Oh. That's how we distracted him? <laughs> Hell yeah. I guess this might be part of his plan. I mean, technically he's not lying, yeah. Meanwhile, on the rocket, man. It's gonna be weird getting used to Luffy's new shorts. Right, who let him go outside? <laughs> his fault. I like how he's just this little kid that they have to keep an eye on because they can't trust him to be alone. But he's just trying to sit on the very front of the, of the rocket, man. He just wants to sit on the front to see where they're going. This is always his seat. The best place to eat. This guy, man, I can't. And Usopp. Hey, at least he's including Usopp in these, these, these things, you know? He basically pretended like he didn't exist there for a bit. Oh my gosh. Dude, how do you do that with ramen? It's because he hit it against the ground so much, toughened it up. What if Sanji just started eating through his armor? It's possible, right? Come on, Sanji. No shot. Sanji need a power spike or something soon. Honestly, everybody's gonna need a power spike if we stand a chance against CP9. Oh. I'm gonna be honest, I expected Wanze to be like a, a dude defeated by the intercut card. Not the case, apparently. How dare you? Oh my god, he's getting dizzy by the eyebrow. I can't, bro. This is like the same vibes of, of Sanji not attacking Bon Clay because he changed into Nami. This is like, my goodness gracious. This might be even dumber, though. He's actually kind of clapping Sanji's cheeks, too. It's so sad. Like, come on, man. I guess he is the, the chef for them, but still. Sanji's the chef of the, the straw hats. Look at this demon. Oh my God. Is this an arc? I need just to call this arc like the straw hats getting their cheeks clapped. Cause that's all it's been. It's been rolled over and over again. Except for when they destroyed the Frankie house. I mean, I underestimated him technically. Dangerous ramen noodles. I really want him to start just eating through it. Pot sticker combo? Does he have pot stickers? Or is he just going to stick Sanji to a pot? His face? I thought this was obvious, Sanji! Oh my god! Wait, he's out. He's out of ammo. He's letting me down to another degree. It's insane. Sad, sad, sad. This guy is so animated. He's so mobile for being so large. I had to give him credit. Oh, is he dodging? I think he is. Wait, he's chopping him. He's cutting the noodles. Yes, thank you. Finally, Sanji. Some, some pushback. They're simply noodles. <laughs> okay, dude. You can't act this smug when you've been getting rolled so hard. What a jammer. My goodness gracious. His policy not to use blades. Kitchen blades, at least. This kitchen is the war zone. Yeah. Okay, maybe he's actually gonna take take him down here now. Seems he's gained his confidence fighting against food. He can cut them all. Get every noodle in sight. Just had to bring himself to do it. Who can't even cook? Oh, no. You've taken one wrong step, brother. <laughs> okay. Dude, he should know Sanji's skill with kitchen knives just based off those spins. Finally, my boy's gonna come through. So this is Nero, right? He's just speaking in third person. This is exactly who it looked like from the shadow. Paper art? Oh, he kicks too. There's a lot of you people kick. Wait, was Tempest kick the one that CP9 used? Oh, so he probably knows like their, their loadout, I'll say. Those six abilities. Bro, well, Frankie has like everything. He, that's so cool. What an arsenal. There's Moonwalk. Yeah, he, he does have CP9's abilities. He's just a newbie. 
Oh, yeah, Frankie's so out of the loop on everything they do. Tempest Kit would have cut him, but he hit the front, which is metal. They're both trying to figure each other out. <laughs> oh, there's... Okay. Ah, we've seen him use these before in Sky Island when they were scaling Inaru's thing. She is alone in here. Oh, hold up. Wait, is she gonna see him? Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> the theme song, bro. I like how she knew it was Usopp right away. He cut off his theme song. Despite the disguise, instantly she's like, oh, long nose, Usopp, cool. What are you doing here? I think he would have been offended if, if you were able to hear her. Episode 260, let's run it. Oh, yes, he has no arms. He's unarmed. You want him to kill you? Kind of giving you an easy out. The ace of CP7. He's the strongest. Uh. <laughs> Watson knows everything. That's fair. Noodle steak. Help. He gave you an out, man. I'm sorry. He's giving you a lesson. Take notes, Wanze. Take notes. Oh my god. Now he's just disrespecting him. Oh, he has no armor. I mean, he was kind of threatening even without the armor, but it just took Sanya getting used to using kitchen tools as a weapon. <laughs> Some respect for the equipment. Dude, what can Frankie not do? He shoots snails too. It's interesting they're pinning him against uh, a newbie to CP9 because he's not going to be as mastered with the six abilities. Wait, four powers? Oh, he only knows four? Oh, that's rookie stuff. Rookie numbers. Instead of mastering finger pistol, he just uses an actual one. Bean's left is just a gun on his arm, in his arm. Oh, wait, his weak point is his back. Oh. Oh no, now you've made him mad. Ouch, finger. That's just like a pistol. They were getting a general idea. He keeps most things in his arms. The breathing fire is kind of cool. Kind of crazy. Honestly, all of Frankie's character design just bewilders me. Oh, he knows now. If I do this, he just lays on his back. <laughs> Genius. He laid down. That's it. <laughs> it's like when somebody makes the dumbest argument and like in a, in like a straight up debate or argument, you're just like, what, what do I even say to that? What do I do? What do I even say? What do you mean? Why are you here? You don't even know who I am. I'm Soga King. He's actually keeping up the persona, man. Oh my God. <laughs> Usopp, stop. The king of the snipers. Uh, what's his name from Blackbeard's crew? Would like to have a word. We're all after you, yep. Oh, it's gotta warm her heart to know they didn't give up on her, knowing what happened. Usopp has seen them front hand being taken from them. What is this? Does she see like the crew like falling apart because of them? What is the status of Mary right now, bro? They dropped it out of the thing that Frankie had it in, and that was it. I'm not gonna go. The more she goes with them, the more pain they have to endure. He's like, girl, listen, I ain't a part of them right now. <laughs> He should just make a deal with her like if she returns he will too I don't think that's super surprising to her though Chance of even more I feel bad for Robin. She's in such a tough place because if she goes, then yeah, they're in more trouble, but she knows it's inevitable that they're gonna come after her anyways. Oh, I was like, how, does he not see Soge King standing there? Wait, is he it, like behind her? Oh my god. There's no way he's this dumb. There's no way he's this dumb. Why are you putting your hands like that, Usa? Soga King! 
<laughs> so serious. She's a six. A rabbit? What? Damn. He's taking this very seriously. Oh. Has he come up with a plan? Super this week? The centaur. Uh huh. Looks like we're shining. Convert? Pervert? <laughs> What is happening, man? <laughs> yeah! It's a backward centaur. How does this help? Mobility? Uh, hey, listen, man. I'll, I'll hold my tongue. Frankie's been quite strong up to this point either way, so I won't doubt him. It just looks so awkward because of how skinny his legs are in comparison to the upper half of his body. It's not bashing, Tom. It's puffing. I'm still curious as to what happens when they catch up and... Oh, wait, the other train car. Wait, the ones that they cut off. It's going to ram right into them. They're all so adorable. <laughs> They're making like a school play about it. Baka. Has Zoro always had that scar? Was that from Mihawk? Like their original fight? Oh, no. No, it is not. It is part of Puffing Tom. <laughs> They're all trying to get out. Oh, this is going to be so awkward. Wait, they're going to ram right into them. They're so unlucky. They 1 million percent perish. Oh, no. Oh, no. Surely it's a rescue ship. Like, what is that? It's like a ghost, man. <laughs> They don't know who's on it either. Boy, if only the phone wasn't destroyed so they could update them. Yeah, they could be worried that it's them. There's no break, so I mean. Ugh. But you don't want to lose momentum either way, either. Oh, he's going to launch himself. Oh, no. He's got to be deadly accurate. Oh my god. Oh, this is so awkward. I mean, they're all more worried about their lives than anything right now, so I don't think they'll want to fight even. He just pays all of them no mind. He just wants to make sure his comrades aren't here. Do you think he's hiding in one of those bags? It's him, the one the bounty! It's gonna do nothing, sorry. He's such a threat to them, but he's like trying to pass through. <laughs> There's no escape. You don't know him? And I guess you die. Just like everybody else on board. You guys can't be serious. He's gonna be like, yeah, we're good. While being shot. Guess it's fine that we ram it. The thing is it could, st yeah. It'll destroy Rocket Man or at least stop it a decent amount. It's a whole drain cart, man. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah, this is their expertise. I haven't heard anybody call Zoro Roronoa, Roronoa in a long time. <laughs> it's time. Well, guys, uh, I would look out. Bro? Huh? Eagle of the Entropic World? It's gonna rip through them. Bro! Rashomon, damn! If anybody had been standing right in the middle, they would have just died instantly. He's making a straight up pathway. Oh, they all die. They should have all perished. Add to Zoro's kill count, because my god. <laughs> yeah, you can't just blow it up. There would have been, I mean, stuff would have been flying and whatnot. But he just cut it. Now they see the sheer power. Yeah, he's not even the lead of the Straw Hats. Aww. Oh, wait, they're kind of like life rafts in a sort of way. Maybe they don't all die. I mean, not, not catching up, they'll get there very shortly after them. Because we have them in the Navy. Huh? Oh, are they talking about T-Bone? Wait, wasn't T-Bone on this? Wait, where's T-Bone? Were they copying him? <laughs> no shot. Is T-Bone, like, on the rails? Oh, shoot. The headband's going on. 
Oh, wait, it is a Sea King. Did T-Bone cut through that? Oh my God. Wait, this might be a banger matchup. He does cut very clean. Okay, not Chopper. Thank you for the input. Does he see him? There's no way he's just standing on the railway. Where is he? The thing is, T-Bone isn't that intimidating to me either. At least I'm assuming that's who they're talking about, right? Because they were they were doing like the shots of, of like the thing that he ripped off to tie onto their arms and stuff. So yeah, most likely. But hell yeah, the, the journey continues. And honestly, it took Sanji a little bit longer to take down that cook than I anticipated. But I love Usopp being the one to confront Robin because they're kind of in the same boat right now. I mean, not really. Very different boats, but inherently the same one with the straw hats being sort of outcast at this point. So if anyone understands her and like can talk from an unbiased perspective it is Usopp because anything he says doesn't point back to him trying to get her to rejoin just because he's a part of the crew it's because he genuinely cares about her and wants to show her that Luffy and them care about her even if the, him and Luffy aren't on good terms right now so if anything it means even more from him coming from him but I like this this sort of setup because we already know how clean T-Bone kind of is with the, with his blade and it gave us that demonstration with him cutting the door so it's, it's setting up the, the fight against Zoro pretty well but nonetheless we introduced closer and closer to any sloppy i'm getting more and more anxious as time goes on but this journey on the trains continue if you're new to the channel drop us up and hit that big wood bell and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace peace